Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Aquarius. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for May, at any time in May. And I just, I need to remind, I know that most of you know because you're Aquarius is, that Aquarius is an air sign. It is not a water sign. I had somebody comment today that Aquarius was a water sign, and I just wanted to clear that up. And if that person happens to be watching this, Aquarius is not a water sign. Aquarius is an air sign. So anyway, what do we have for Aquarius? What do we have for Aquarius? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus could be Jupiter, could be Mars. What do we have for Aquarius? Oh, here we go. Past life connection. And I don't know if you can see it in the card. You should... Hurricane season ahead. Well, that looks good, doesn't it? So, this is in the past. We have a past life connection. There is a storm brewing. Okay, may have to do with this past life connection. Spiritual awakening. That is in your future. Okay, so you are going to be going through a spiritual download or through some sort of spiritual awakening in the future. That doesn't mean you're not spiritually awoken now. This may be stepping it up to the next level. You could also be dealing with somebody that is going through a spiritual awakening. This past life connection, and that could definitely be the case. I feel like you have somebody here that has gotten some sort of uh, maybe they have gone through an awakening and they are starting to feel a connection or they feel a very strong connection to you. I do believe that this person, I do think it's somebody that you're dealing with. I do. I just feel very strongly that it's somebody that you're dealing with. That either you are dealing with somebody that is, go, is, is reconnecting with somebody from their past or you are going to be reconnecting with somebody. Um... Mm -hmm. You know, hurricanes usually cause destruction, so I do believe there is probably some sort of destruction in the near future. Could be happening right now. Let's get one of these. If not, you should get prepared, okay? Definitely get prepared for some sort of, uh, well, I feel like it's destruction and disruption, Door to spirit. Interesting, because we have spiritual awakening here as well. This is going over here. Your past life connection has gone through an awakening. Okay, and there's some sort of spiritual guidance here. It's like a new door is opening for you, and I feel like it's going to be uh, turbulent. It is going to be turbulent because of that hurricane season. That's a warning. It is a warning, but I think it's honestly, I don't feel like, I feel, you know, when a hurricane comes in and it clears something out that isn't, it's kind of like a tower, okay? When it clears something out that isn't stable, that isn't strong, that shouldn't be there in the first place, you know, uh, it usually is a blessing in disguise because now you have the opportunity to rebuild something stronger and stable in a better place. So I do believe that you are there's some sort of divine guidance here and you do have a past life connection that you may be reconnecting with. And and sometimes people think that past life connection is their ex or somebody that they slept with in the past. A past life connection can be somebody you have not even met yet. Okay? There is a new door that is opening for you. 
This is somebody that you are going to feel very familiar with when you touch this person, when you hug this person, when you get around this person, you will feel at ease. You will feel like you can be yourself. You will just know that this is where you are meant to be. This does have to do with a relationship. I look at that dove, and doves remind me of love. Let's get one of these. Let your past go. Unbelievable. I have yet to set up my new camera. Let your past go. The burden of, care, of carting your past around has made you weary, dear one. It's time to set the burden down. Keep only the lessons and the love and leave everything else behind. You don't want it or need it. And now it's gone. It's time to let something go. And maybe it's this past life connection. And then maybe that's your spiritual awakening during this time. Maybe you're going through a spiritual awakening and you have to let something go that you have been connected to. Anyhow, be prepared because there's a storm brewing that is coming to clear something out that really shouldn't be there in the first place. So what do we have for Aquarius? I'm going to make these my thumbnail. So I'm just going to... That is exactly what we got. We have a hurricane season coming up or a storm brewing with somebody that you have a past life connection with. It may be a little scary. There may be a move in the near future, okay? There could be some. I think there's, it may have to do with moving. You know, something like that. What do we have? What do we have for Aquarius? Judgment. Judgment day? Judgment is an epiphany. It is a spiritual awakening. It is a wake-up call. So we do have a wake-up call. It is truths being revealed. This is a release. It is an absolution. It is an ending. It is the end of things. It is finality. This is the final verdict. This is karma, okay? This is um, a judgment call that is being made. Um, there could be some karma that is coming. This is the end of a trial, okay? It's the end of a, of a situation. Um, with somebody that you have a past life connection with. You think about judgment. Judgment is, uh, you know, you think about judgment day. When, when you're up there and you are releasing and you're going over your life and accepting and hoping that you will be forgiven, there, there could be some sort of, uh, well, judgment sometimes can be a resurrection from the past. Somebody could be coming back around that, that you have some past life karma with. And this could even be somebody new. So keep, you got to keep your, your, your uh, perception open, your perspective. Okay. You got to look at things from an open mind. We do have a past life connection where there is some past life karma that is going to be dealt with in the very near future, put it that way. And a life-changing decision is going to be made. Somebody may be asking for forgiveness or they may want another chance or something like that because judgment can be another chance. Somebody is ready to be judged. They are. This could also be releasing a past life connection, making a judgment call. Maybe you've gone through some spiritual awakening. There is definitely a spiritual awakening here. You're going to have to make a judgment call. There's no doubt about it. A lot of spirit here. Okay. This is also, okay, this is door to spirit. This is somebody from the other side. And this, the judgment card can represent somebody from the other side. 
So I wonder if there is somebody from the other side that has passed away that is guiding you to release something that it isn't really meant to be there. It's not it's not in a good you're, it's not a good place. It's not stable. It's not you need you're supposed to start over. And that's what I want to say. We have a lot of spirit that is guiding you during this time. Um, there's a need to forgive. Maybe you need to forgive and accept because when this hurricane comes in, it's going to clear something out. And this is a card of acceptance, accepting the truth. Okay. Except this is also a card of consequences. So it is. So somebody is about to be judged. They are about to receive some sort of karma or they have received some karma. It may have already happened. There is some sort of um, forgiveness that is needed and acceptance. So you're going to have to accept something. And judgment is an ending. It is an ending. So hmm. truths are going to be revealed. Responsibility is going to be assigned. Somebody is about to receive some karma for their previous actions. Because that's what judgment is. Huh. High priestess reverse. Now the high priestess is reverse is somebody. A secret is definitely going to be revealed. There is absolutely positively no doubt about it. Okay. Something is about to be revealed that has been hidden. And it's going to cause. Well. We got that hurricane there. It's going to cause, I mean, a hurricane is, brings a lot of rain, right? And rain can resemble tears. So I, I feel like there could be some tears shed. I feel like um, somebody has not been awoken with the high priestess reverse. They've, they've been ignoring their intuition. They haven't been listening to their gut. They may have received poor advice or they've been too reliant on psychics or tarot readers not listening to their gut or listening to poor advice from somebody that is not really spiritual. I do believe that we have a spiritual awakening here and you are called to let something go that is not meant to be there. It's not meant to be there. I also feel like some of you, especially if you are a male watching this, you are dealing with somebody that doesn't really, I feel like this person doesn't really uh, give to the relationship. This person is very, I don't know, not very spiritual, um, closed off, doesn't have a lot of friends. Um, you could also be dealing with, if you are a male watching this, you could be dealing with somebody who really is very independent. They may say they want to be in a relationship, but they like their independence quite a, quite a bit. I feel like the female here, whether you're the female watching this or whatever, I feel like we have this female that is choosing to uh, not listen. This person will not listen to any advice, will not uh, really commit to anything, which is interesting. This is ignoring, there's some sort of poor advice as well. Somebody is giving poor advice or receiving poor advice, poor counsel. We have, we have an individual here that is very shallow. Knight of Cups. Doesn't, this is doesn't want to be alone. Wants to be in a relationship. Somebody doesn't want to be alone. I feel like we have somebody here that is in a relationship just because they don't want to be alone. But this person is very, it feels like... I can't think of the right word, but it's like sexual energy. It's it's like um, seeking 
you know, needs attention. I feel like you're dealing with somebody that um, is constantly looking for attention, constantly looking for recognition. Anyhow, um, and that could, it could be your energy. Anyhow, I do believe that you need to wake up in some way. There is an awakening here. This is ignoring the truth. Ignoring the truth because of a relationship. Somebody is, it's like, and maybe that's you. Somebody just doesn't want to be alone. They may have received some sort of message that, you know, isn't true. It isn't true. You need to let your past go. I feel like you are in, in some sort of situation where uh, there's a, there's, oh my God. I just looked on the bottom. We have the tower. Something isn't real. It's not stable. It's not solid. It's not secure. It's a false sense of security. It's, it's built on a false foundation. There's a, there's a lot that's hidden behind those walls. And I feel like there's, there is a rude awakening that is coming. I feel like that is what is, that, that is the message. Okay. With this, I knew that I knew it. I did know it. Okay. We, we have a tower moment here. We have a faded event that is coming that is going to change your circumstances. And I think that you are dealing with somebody that is very, very shallow that may speak of love. This person may say that they love you, you know, but I, I don't feel like it's true. I don't feel like it's true. I feel like there's some sort of of deception here. I'm going to turn this off. I thought I had it off, but apparently I don't. Anyhow, um, there's spiritual guidance here. There's, there's somebody from the other side that is trying to get you to see something. A life-changing decision is about to be made. This is the end of a trial. Um responsibility is about to be assigned for actions that were taken in the past okay there's no doubt about it in the future you will be letting somebody go that you have a past life connection with you may be needing to make a judgment call and listen to your gut do not listen to anybody but yourself okay don't don't listen to me don't listen to any other tarot reader. Don't listen to any psychic. Don't listen to your friends. Don't listen to your mother. No offense. Listen to your gut. You, we have somebody here that is needs to listen. Go within. This is part of a spiritual awakening. Okay, we have somebody here that has not woken up yet with that high priestess reversed. That is somebody that has been ignoring their intuition. There is a serious spiritual awakening that is coming, okay? And there is going to be a change. It is going to be a faded universal change that is going to make you emotional. There is probably a past life connection that is probably coming into your life that is, I don't know, wanting to reconcile with you or something like that and you're going to have to make a judgment call. Now, when I say past life con connection, I just got to re I got to say this again. P past life connection could be a family member, it could be a friend, it could be somebody you don't even know yet. Okay? It could be an ex, it could be a lover. I do believe that there is somebody that is going to be uh, storming into your life. I feel like this is somebody that you do have a strong past life connection with. This person is going to be expressing their feelings to you and you are probably going to be letting them go. Let your past go. That is the advice. This is a false sense of security. This is destruction. We talked about it at the beginning. This is a major life change. Judgment is a major life change. It is a life changing decision. So this is also a spiritual awakening. So this is a huge time of awakening. I feel like there is somebody from your past that has had a spiritual awakening. I feel like they have, uh, what have they done? What have they done this person in the past? Four of Pentacles, greedy. 
This person is greedy, a miser, selfish. This person was greedy, selfish. Um, all they focused on was themselves or their money or their things. Focused on their financial stability. Um, this is a miser. This person probably did not um, invest in you because money or things or their job was more important. Could be a could be a family member. Could be a father. Could be a mother. Could be um, could be a lover. Somebody is wanting forgiveness. Could be a father. This definitely could be a father. It's a masculine type of energy, but doesn't mean it's a masculine. But I do feel like there you are going to be receiving some sort of direct communication from somebody. Um, this person has made a decision. They know what they want, and they're going to go for it. Could be an Aquarius, uh, Libra, Gemini. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You also have Scorpio here. You also have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio here. I do feel like you are going to be put in a position where you have to make a decision and it is a life-changing one. And this is about your stability. It is about um, your value, okay? Whoever you are dealing with before had probably had made a decision and they cut you out because they were greedy. And now, you know, they say karma never loses an address. And I do believe that something is coming back around. Absolutely. This you're gonna be having a very discerning conversation with somebody. Mm. And it may make you feel very, very uncomfortable. We have the devil here, which is toxic energy. This is about tied to a situation you need to break free. This is um, you must free yourself. This is breaking free or things will get worse. This is uh, being in a deep, dark place. Ego, getting ego, lust, pride, materialism, getting in the way of success, getting in the way of somebody making the right decision. That's what this person did. Uh, I feel like you are going to be put in a position where you have to make a life-changing decision and you are going to have to think about your value during this time, okay? Um, <clears throat> challenging information. This is very challenging because you have a deep connection with this person but this person is greedy they are selfish and you're gonna need to use your head do not let your heart get in the way use your head be logical I feel like um, whoever you're dealing with has probably broken free from some sort of situation that has kept them bound and that's why they are coming back around. I feel like somebody is going to be asking you for forgiveness. You're going to have to uh, master your emotions, listen to your gut, and let your past go. Good luck, Aquarius.